What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob and welcome to another edition of Eight Nights of Fright 2020. Film number two in my Eight Nights of Fright series is a movie that you might not expect. Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, you probably didn't see that coming. You thought this was all horror movies. Little Shop of Horrors was released back in 1986. This is actually a musical film directed by Frank Oz. You might know him best for his puppeteer work. He did, he best known for doing Yoda, his work with Jim Henson and the Muppets. But Frank Oz was a prominent film director as well, directing The Dark Crystal, The Muppets Take Manhattan, The Indian in the Cupboard, just to name a few. And Little Shop of Horrors is probably the best film he's ever made. I love this movie. I really, really love this movie. I tend to rewatch this, it seems, ever since I first watched it. I love watching it around October. And I wanted to talk about Little Shop of Horrors in some way. So if you're unaware of Little Shop of Horrors, the movie is a remake of a 1960 Roger Corman film, a film that was very cheaply made, made in just two days, a movie nobody remembered. Howard Ashman loved the film so much, he decided to make a musical Broadway version of the play. That was a big hit. And then it got adapted into a movie directed by Yoda. And I love it so much. So the story, if you're not aware, it's set in like the 1960s. The film follows a guy named Seymour, played by Rick Moranis. He discovers a mysterious plant one day. He decides to place the plant in his, their struggling flower shop that he works for and... Well, you know, the business starts to become successful and Seymour discovers that the plant grows by consuming human blood. And as the plant, which he names Audrey too, after his love Audrey, played by Ellen Green, says the plant continually grows, Seymour realizes that he is getting way more over his head. Steve Martin's in this film, who plays a very psychotic dentist who is the love interest of the Audrey character making Rick Moranis jealous, of course, because how abusive he is to her. Steve Martin is, like, ridiculously over the top, sporting an Elvis impression and just completely embracing how sadistic his character is in the most over-the-top way. There's other cameos in this movie as well. John Candy's in here, Paul Dooley, and Bill Murray, just to name a few, who are all very entertaining in this film. But... What makes Little Shop of Horrors an awesome film is, for one, it tells a very remarkable story, a very campy story about a man and his killer plant, a movie that you think would be the most ridiculous movie ever with its premise, but you still get invested in this movie because the characters are still written so well played to the Howard and Ashman and Alan Menken songs. Yes, they worked on this movie together. The first time these two remarkable musicians and songwriters worked on a movie together, by the way. And without the success of Little Shop of Horrors, we wouldn't have had The Little Mermaid or Beauty and the Beast over at Disney. So that's another reason why I deeply give mad respect to Little Shop of Horrors. The songs in this movie are fantastic. The title song, Somewhere That's Green, The Dentist, Suddenly Seymour, and my personal favorite, Without the Bean Green Model from Outer Space! That song is just amazing. And speaking of amazing, Audrey 2, voiced by Four Tops lead vocalist himself, Levi Stubbs. Wow, what a character. He provides an incredible vocal performance. His songs are the standouts whenever he leads a song. And my gosh, that puppetry. Because you got Frank Oz involved, who had his experience with Jim Henson and the Muppets and Yoda. Man, this puppetry. It's the best dang puppetry I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just wow. Just look at Audrey too. Just look at that. Just look at that. Just look at that. I'm just like, I'm just like, 
blown away. And they were able to make a creature move around like this and be so expressive and be very over the top and a little sadistic as well. I love the design of Audrey too. Oh, puppetry often gets thrown under the bus and the scene is like kitty nonsense, but this will prove people wrong right here. This E.T., the Dark Crystal, this is art right here. The movie does have uh, some occasional horror elements uh, because the movie does involve a killer plant. You gotta watch the director's cut of Little Shop of Horrors. The theatrical cut of this movie is fine, but if you don't know the history, uh, I'll do a pretty condensed version of it. Well, they originally shot an ending which was a little darker. It followed the structure of the original play without diving into spoilers if you hadn't seen this film. And it was poorly received at the test audience. I guess they didn't watch the original play. They were upset at the fates of characters that they grew to love. And they were upset at what happened in the ending. And so they were pretty much forced to reshoot an ending to make it a lot happier. Now I have seen the theatrical cut of this movie. Still an enjoyable watch until you get to the end with that forced reshot ending, which is very anticlimactic, very forced. It definitely felt like something was going on behind the scenes if you watch it. So, thankfully, the original ending got restored. It didn't get restored until 2012. A long wait to see the original ending, and thank God the ending is restored and tacked what Frank Oz and Howard Ashman intended for audiences to see. This very wild finale of a lot of killer plants. That's all I can say without spoiling the ending. Uh, a lot of killer plants. It's one of my favorite closing scenes in any musical because the puppetry is so insane. I just love how like gleefully over the top it is. It's very dark, but it's very comical. It harkens back to a lot of cheesy B-movies of that time. It definitely feels like Roger Corman on steroids if it had a bigger budget. And I love this movie. I know a lot of people, when they think campy musicals that have a dark side to it, a lot of people go to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And yes, I do like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It is a wild, campy film. has a lot of great songs in it. I love the time warp. That's a great song. Tim Curry and Drag's a lot of fun. But I prefer Little Shop of Horrors. I really do. I think I prefer the Alan Menken and Howard Ashman's work as musicians. I love their songs in this movie. Uh, the girl group, it's kind of a reference to some of the girl groups of the 60s. They're even named after some girl groups like Ronette, Chiffin, and Crystal. I was kind of a clever touch. I love their addition to the film. I love the cast. I love the overall storytelling. You get some great characters while also being a camp comedy that's also a musical and has a lot of dark humor to it. There's just a lot to this movie I love. And Little Shop of Horrors is one of my favorite musicals of all time. Might be in my top five movie musicals if I'm being honest. I just overall love the craft of this movie. Frank Oz is a genius. Howard Ashman, Alan Menken are musical geniuses, and this is an incredible movie. Definitely check out Little Shop of Horrors if you haven't seen it, especially that director's cut. I'm going to give Little Shop of Horrors a 5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 100 out of 100. So that wraps up my thoughts on Little Shop of Horrors as part of round 2 of Eight Nights of Fright. Two down, six more to go. What movies will I be tackling the remainder of this month? Find out in more videos of Eight Nights of Fright. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If you've seen Little Shop of Horrors, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? Whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. 
I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Ha 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 ha.